Our team coverage begins with Josh Helmuth, who is tracking that commute that got a lot longer than a lot of people anticipated. Josh. Yeah, guys, earlier today, it was incredible. This area where I-35 meets Southwest Trafficway turned into one giant parking lot. Hundreds, if not thousands, abandoning their cars on the side of the highway in order to make today's celebration. It's 6 o'clock right now, and there's still one car left here in the median, still illegally parked, further proof that people were doing whatever it takes to celebrate with their boys in blue today. Just minutes from the parade route and stuck in a sea of traffic, Royals fan Justin Murphy was about to give up. And that was packed up there where all the tire tracks are. There's people a little further up the hill. Catching a glimpse of the city's first World Series celebration in 30 years meant abandoning his 4x4 on the side of I-35. No, we couldn't sit in the car any longer. We had to get out. This group from Wellsville believes they might have been guilty of starting the trend. She kept asking everyone if it was okay, and we were like, I don't know. <laughs> of course, there was a downside even after parking. We waited an hour and a half in the line for the bathroom, so that was fun. And more challenges awaited them upon their return. I'm worried about getting out. Yeah. <laughs> but with an estimated half million people, the biggest party to ever hit Kansas City certainly proved that if you win, they will come. Oh, yeah, we'd do it again in a heartbeat. Thank yeah. you. For no ticket, no ticket. It was nearly 5 o'clock until most of the traffic finally cleared out of here near I-35 and Southwest Traffic Way. Further proof again that this parade today was an event unparalleled in the city's history. Guys.